Moments ago, our Dion Braxton talked about this reckless driving in St. Louis City causing deadly dangers as cars speed and run red lights. But it is something that is also impacting emergency responders, making their already dangerous job even harder. First Alert Force Shana Stahl went along with crews as drivers were refusing to move over. <laughs> The drive to save a life puts first responders' own lives at risk. Just getting there becomes very difficult and very dangerous. First alert for following along with fire crews across St. Louis City for days. So we could show you exactly what they're dealing with. You're good on my side, Kyle. I think it seems to be getting worse. The bumper of the new city fire trucks now set to be able to handle an impact up to 55 miles per hour, all as an added precaution because of what the department is seeing. We tell our drivers now, if you're going through a green light and you've got the right of way, we still cover the brake because you don't know what's going to come at you from either side. Chief Dennis Jankerson says people aren't following the rules of the road. Come on, boss, get over to the right when they hear sirens. It's dangerous at a fire. It's almost as dangerous just trying to get to a fire because people are not paying attention. We watched as crews got cut off, cars refused to pull over, and drivers didn't care. So what do you do if you're stopped at a red light and an emergency crew is trying to get past you? The fire department says when an emergency vehicle is approaching, each lane should pull as far right to the right-hand curb as possible, allowing room for it to pass. Go through the light! Come on! It's almost as if people, you know, have more important things to do or they just choose to ignore them or maybe if I get around this truck, I can get to where I need to go. Fire Captain Garen Mosby used to drive the fire truck at his station and has seen for himself just how stressful it can be. These things are not meant to stop on a dime, so it takes a bit to stop them. And if you turn in front, the truck, the fire truck or the ambulance might not physically be capable of stopping in time, which creates more of a hazard for you because that wreck is gonna hurt a passenger vehicle a lot more then it's going to hurt the, the emergency uh, responding vehicle. The National Fire Protection Association reporting that in 2022, about 20,300 collisions happened across the United States when fire emergency vehicles were responding to or returning from incidents. That led to 800 injuries. We've seen that happen countless times in St. Louis, where you can see ambulances damaged and flipped on its side. You're waiting for us to get there? Those seconds turn into blisters. Those seconds turn into severe scars. Those seconds turn into smoke inhalation. Chief Jankerson says despite this, city crews are still able to get a response time for calls in under four minutes. The chief is hoping to see a change in the community to help things get better instead of continuing to get worse. You have to respect these big trucks. We're running lights and sirens for a reason. There's an emergency that we're responding to. So we're asking the public, help us get there. Fire crews across the metro tell us it's also something they're dealing with. And it's not just a safety concern, but damages to fire trucks and ambulances like this can cost tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. In St. Louis City, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4.